Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning, and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.
Over the past 25 years, Colonial Motors has connected countless Delawareans with pre-owned cars to satisfy every purpose and budget. Find your next vehicle at one of three convenient locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com.
Think about it. The trash and recycling bins on our homes, even with normal use, are places where harmful bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli can multiply by the thousands. But like anyone, you want to keep your home and your family as healthy as possible. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning can help. They sanitize your trash cans with high-pressure hot water jets that can kill over 99% of the germs and bacteria in your cans in just a few minutes. To schedule your first cleaning, call 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. The future of Delaware hockey is here. First State Ice Hockey is committed to growing the game, raising the bar, and building better, more complete youth hockey players in and around Delaware. Join the movement of one state, one goal at FirstStateIceHockey.com. Let's face it. Saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning, and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more. Hi friends and a most pleasant good afternoon to you. Welcome to Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by 412 Communications. The second half of our weekend series pitting the Syracuse Orange against the Delaware Blue Hens in this Eastern States Collegiate Hockey League in-conference matchup. Coming up next, we're live at Fred Rust Arena on the campus of the University of Delaware. James Witherite flying solo here this afternoon bringing you 
the action in words for the second meeting of four between these two teams yesterday. The Blue Hens pulled out a 4-3 win over the Orange. A perilously thin one-goal lead for much of the third, but the Delaware defense went it counted with their backs to a wall. Dug deep to support netminder Corbin Gustafson. Two goals from Gavin Hulser, one each from Jake Nima and Colin Emmerich. Gave the Hens their fifth victory of the season. They have improved to 5-3 and 1. Without further ado, let's take you inside the glass for this afternoon's entries. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your University of Delaware Blue Hands. <laughs> Hockey fans, a most pleasant good afternoon to you, and welcome to Fred Rust Arena, the Eastern States Collegiate Hockey League and the American Collegiate Hockey Association present this evening's, this afternoon's men's Division I matchup between the visiting Syracuse Orange and your University of Delaware Blue Hands. Let's meet this afternoon's starting lineups for the visiting Syracuse Orange. Starting in goal, number 37, Nicholas Manusos. On defense, number two, J.D. Florio. And number seven, Mackenzie Murphy. Starting at left wing, number 26, Sam Hutchinson. At right wing, number nine, Evan Vasilovsky. And starting at center, number 12, Lucas Prestamo. Fans, it's that time. Let's meet the starting lineup for your University of Delaware Blue Heads. Between the pipes, in his first ACHA Division I start of the season, number 31, Justin Nevinger. On defense, a junior. Number 24, Jay Luce. And number 20, Ivan Sidoria. At right wing, a senior number 10, Ryan Bird. At center, a senior number 28, Will Zimmer. And starting at left wing, a graduate student from here in Delaware, number four, Colin Emmerich. Your Blue Hens are coached by Todd Middlemeyer and Jason Bay. The on-ice officials for this afternoon's game, the referees, are Owen Doan and Tim Foreman. The linesmen are Brent Kendall and Doug Wood. Hockey fans, at this time, we ask that you please direct your attention to the American flag located above center ice. As we honor the United States of America and those who defend it with our national anthem. Early 
delight What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there because that's our spangled banner yet wave. For the land of the free and the To those of you joining us from far and wide on DHN TV, it is time to play the game. First period brought to you by our good friends at First State Ice Hockey, growing youth hockey here in Delaware brick by brick under the philosophy of one state, one goal. Learn more about what they do at firststateicehockey.com. Delaware traveling from left to right here in the first period, clad in their blue kits this afternoon. Gold numbers. The blue hen logo on the front, gold yoke, gold and white trim on the sleeves. Syracuse going the other direction. From right to left in their away whites, orange numbers, navy blue yokes, pants, and helmets. That is J.D. Florio holding the left point for the orange after they won the initial draw. Murphy holds the opposite side. Puck chipped into neutral territory, recovered by Murphy. Pressed on, though, up the left wing boards by Ryan Burns for Delaware, and that forces Murphy behind his own goal to recover for the, Sy for the Syracuse orange. 35 seconds in, Delaware now working left to right. It was Jack Zimmer. We tried to find Rodriguez on a stretch pass up the middle, but this puck comes right back to the Delaware blue line. Intercepted and now walked in by Syracuse's number 10, Brock Alvers, usually wearing number 15. A few number changes here this weekend on the orange lineup. We'll try to keep them straight for you as we go. Alvers wearing 10, Timothy Cook wearing 14, Marty Kastner wearing 36, Skolnick 11, Larkin 28. And Jordan Edelstein, backup goalie, wearing number 35 here this afternoon to round out those number changes on the orange side. Hulser tips the puck forward from behind red. Icing waved off by linesman Doug Wood. He's working with the Cape Breton Knight, Brent Kendall. The referees for this contest, Tim Foreman and Owen Doan. Long range shot from Tim Kalinowski was blocked at the point. Pressed up the far boards by Rodriguez deep into the Syracuse end. Enough of an advance to get Delaware time for a change in their third line. We'll see for the first time here the Nima combination. On with Hulser and Luppy. But the hard work remains to be done as Syracuse is dominating territory here in the first two minutes of this contest. Here's Nima in a one on two. Got around Rattel, couldn't backhand the puck anywhere close. It was saved by Manuso stepping up to the edge of the crease to do so. So the shot on goal does register. But Syracuse 
to be absolutely fair to both sides, they brought it yesterday in Delaware. The passing was sloppy, and that really was a big trouble spot for them, despite them pulling out the 4-3 win. Sidoriak plays the body at the near half ball, dusting up Morrow in the act. Play on, say Messers, Doan, and Foreman after the collision. The Delaware's back in their own zone once again. Out comes early across to Kevin Shigalmi. Neutral zone feed to Chris Heitzhaus. Allows play to advance into the Syracuse end up the far wall. Schuma holds the near point. Long range shot from him. Caught and held onto by Manusos for a break in the action. Face-off will come to Minuso's left. Will Zimmern to take the draw. But he is overpowered by the Syracuse side. Gargarevich couldn't chase the puck down deep in the Delaware end before Jack Zimmer got to it. Volley back from the Syracuse line by Murphy. Now pressed forward by Chuma, working up the left wall this time round. The co-captain for the Blue Hens. Graduate student dumps the puck behind the Syracuse goal. Now it's picked up by Will Zimmer. Fed back to Chuma, barely holding the blue line. Cross-ice pass intended for Jack Zimmer, intercepted. Fast break, two on two, led by Gargarevich with Barone at his flank. Disintegrates mid-zone in the Delaware end. And the neutral zone battles continue as both sides get some fresh legs on. J.D. Florio works to center, floats the puck in deep from there. Recovered by Andrew Marciniak, the Chicago one on the Delaware side. Muscled free by Emmerich, mishandled high in the Delaware zone. By Hutchinson, blew a tire after losing the line. And the Orange are forced to regroup the old-fashioned way. Austin Ricker with the re-entry up the left boards, ultimately overpowered. Had to flip the puck in, but it will come back into the Delaware zone as the Blue Hens are guilty of an icing. Two shots on goal so far in the first period, both coming from the Delaware side. New combination of forwards on for Syracuse. Larkin flanked by Alvers and Kalinowski. On the defensive side of things, Ricker and Skolnick. Up the middle came Chandler Lynch for Delaware. Drop pass to Rodriguez, top of the left circle. Good shot from him, but a better save by Manusos on the other side. Attacking zone faceoff for Delaware coming up four minutes and 40 seconds into the first period of this scoreless matchup. No news is good news, as they say. Glad to report that the technical issues we all patiently, well most of us patiently worked through yesterday, have been resolved. A late night and an early morning in the studio and we here on the broadcast side of things are thankfully back to full strength. Again to those of you who were patient with us yesterday, we do appreciate that. Glad to have you on board with us from wherever you may be. East Coast, West Coast, Great Lakes, Canada, wherever. Grateful to have you on board for this Sunday matinee when you could be doing oh, any number of other things, including watching football. But we're glad to have you here at Delaware Hockey Night just the same. Sidoriak into Luppy below the cage. Back to Sidoriak. Backdoor feed, crashing the slot. That was Jay Luce, who couldn't connect from 35 feet. His shot was blocked on its way in toward Manusos. Guido overskates the puck. It is corralled and walked free by Ricker. Centered to Alvers over the Blue Hen logo at center ice. He dumps the puck in from there. Fresh legs coming on. For the Orange, not the case for Delaware. Luppy thought he got center before tipping the puck in, but this will come back and ice it. 14 minutes, two seconds to go in this first period. It is scoreless. 
Both sides accounting for nary a goal. In the first six minutes, Delaware having accounted for all three shots on goal thus far in the game. Loose pummeled trying to clear the zone in the far corner. It's held at the opposite point by Syracuse's Timofey Kuzamin. Played in down low. Cook tries to stick handle his way out of traffic, can't. Nima recovers, gains center. Race on for the puck. As the stretch pass intended for Guido across the neutral zone overshot his man. And this too will come back in icing. Six and a half minutes into period number one. There's a new gold standard in digital media solutions for small businesses, 412 Communications. Proud partners of Delaware Hockey Night, offering writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media consultation, and more. Head to 412communications.com to learn how they can help your brand build bridges with the people you serve. Nevinger makes the save on the close range shot. Fresh legs on for both sides. And Syracuse will get an attacking zone face off as they try to maintain a little bit of attacking momentum. Here's six and two thirds minutes into this scoreless first period. The Hungarian Kevin Shigalmi races the puck deep into the Syracuse end. Ultimately was outfought for that slab of vulcanized rubber by one JD Florio. Puck through the rafters, back the other way, lands in the Syracuse end, and on the stick of Sam Hutchinson. Stretch toward Prestamo. The outlet pass a little bit too hard. Corralled by Zimmer, losing his footing behind the cage. Now handled by Shigalmi. As the fourth line tries to make some momentum the other way, delayed penalty, it will come up against Syracuse. Devinger made a cut for the bench. Meanwhile, Jack Zimmer, in the near corner of his own zone, looked to wind up for a stretch pass. Under duress, left the puck back to Hulser. Heitzhaus flips it to Hulser, accelerating through. There's the possession and control for Syracuse, brought on by Hutchinson. And we will have our first penalty of the game with 12 minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first period, boarding the call. On Vasilovsky. And for the first time today, the Delaware Blue Hens, as you see, in the upper left-hand corner of your monitor, are headed to the Colonial Motors power play. You too can score on the Colonial Motors power play. Visit one of their three convenient Central Delaware locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Syracuse penalty assessed to number nine, Evan Vasilovsky. Two minutes for boarding. Time of the penalty, seven minutes, 37 seconds in the first period. Vasilovsky, two for boarding at 7.37. Pulser to Sidoriak from center point. Shot a one-hop in, saved by Manusos. Battle for the rebound migrates to the near corner where it's recovered by Ostrander. Cycled to Guido, Sidoriak, around clockwise to the left half wall, and Hulser there. Flipped back to Sidoriak, below the cage, in front now to Guido, fed by Ostrander, couldn't get it home. Half the penalty to Vasilovsky has been killed off. Rodriguez extracts the puck from the crowd in the corner, trying to hit up Ostrander, making a beeline to the net, couldn't connect there. Here's Guido. Working the perimeter of the right circle. Took aim, hard wrister, cleared the crossbar. <laughs> Rang off the back glass and out as far as the Delaware blue line. Where Hulser leaves it to Dom Guido. And a fresh set of attackers will come in for the blue hens. 30 seconds remaining on this first power play for Delaware. Jack Zimmer works it in close. Burns turns and shoots from between the circles. Missed the near post. Zimmer with a chance. Looked as though Manuso's got a piece of it, but it was wide of the post just the same. Will Zimmer's shot from the top of the left circle. Stick checked up into the atmosphere and out of play. With eight seconds, make that seven seconds to go. In this first Colonial Motors power play of the day for Delaware. 
And the faceoff will occur to the right of Nicholas Manusos, who has stopped all five shots he's faced so far this afternoon. Another hard shot from Jack Zimmer right into the pads of Manusos. Penalty has expired. The chance from Will Zimmer ends up in the netting over the near corner and out of play. Face off to the right of Manusos. Controlled by Delaware, but tipped over the glass and out. And off a blue hen stick, the following draw will come above the orange blue line. Fourth line trying to keep it going for Delaware, Trevor Early. Bats the puck into the Syracuse end, but just as quickly the orange counter and let up the near wall. Mackenzie Murphy is able to gain the Delaware end for the orange attack. But so far we are scoreless halfway through this first period. No goals as yet. Shot 6-1 favoring Delaware, and this will come back offside. If you're like me, healthy living is important, and Delaware trash can cleaning certainly can help all of us achieve that. Periodically, Delaware trash can cleaning comes right to your driveway and uses high pressure hot water to sanitize your trash and recycling bins, killing over 99% of the germs and bacteria that accumulate that we really honestly don't even think of, but, but they're there. DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com to schedule your first routine cleaning with them. Proud supporters of Delaware Hockey Night. Drummond holds the left point, shot into traffic, race for the puck in the near corner after it bounced off a Syracuse player clogging the slot. That battle is won by Sam Hutchinson. Cleared, tipped off the stick of Vasilovsky countered over the center logo by Drummond and rolled back behind the Syracuse goal where it's easily picked clean by Colby Rattel swatted in to the Delaware end by Hutchinson corralled by Drummond far side held in high by Prestamo Prestamo and Marciniak converge on the puck at the near half boards Marciniak was able to clear but muscling the puck back in over the Delaware line Kuzamin gives it away to Marciniak Passing under duress was a trouble spot for Delaware yesterday. That's persisted so far here in the first period, but this attack a good bit cleaner as Ostrander's the recipient of a feed through the neutral zone. Collision net front, Manusos, knocked by Hulser, it appeared, into the Syracuse net. The linesmen intervene, and we're none the worse for wear with eight minutes and 48 seconds to go in the first period of a nothing-nothing hockey game. The net behind Manusos reset. Everybody okay, no violence boiling over. Ben's on the lunch break, that's why. Kuzamin behind his own goal, double teamed by a pair of Delaware four checkers. The other 17, Ryan Luppe, tried to wrist the puck away from him. Was able to lift the stick of Kuzamin, but despite that effort, the Orange persevere. Guido holds the right point off a failed Syracuse clearing attempt. Caroms the puck to the far corner. Chased down by Nima, but he mishandled it up the far boards, and he's drawn back to red to regroup. Everybody tags up, Hens re-enter. Luppy challenged for the puck in the far corner by Austin Ricker, the back-checking Orangeman. Ricker lost his footing. Guido 
into the aid of Luppy. Now corrals the puck, tries to set one on a tee for Nima net front, but he can't tip it home at the top of the crease. Eight minutes to go here in the first period. Scoreless so far at Fred Rust Arena. The long range shot from Luce intercepted and walked through neutral territory by Colby Rattel, who stops just shy of the Delaware blue line before tipping the puck in deep from there and heading off for a change. Jake Nima in a one on two, tried to split the wickets with a hard wrist shot from 40 feet right into Minusos' glove, and he holds on for a break in the action with seven minutes and 32 seconds, officially speaking, to go here in the first of a nothing nothing hockey game. Face-off comes to the left of Manusos, who stopped all seven vulcanized rubber cylinders fired his way. And with the puck out of play in the Syracuse zone off a Syracuse stick, the Hens will get another attacking zone face-off coming up right now. It is worth noting yesterday that three of Delaware's four goals came on the power play. Hard shot from Jack Zimmer from the left point. Right into the glove of Manusos. Face off again to his right. This one controlled by Syracuse. Skolnick looking for space. Angled behind the goal. Salt works it up the near side. Zone protected by Burns. Holding the near point. Dumping the puck in. Chasing it. But into a trio of orange back checkers. Who countered but could not clear. As Emmerich maintained. At the opposite side. This puck off the stick of Moro. Skittered back beyond center. Where Chuma trailed back to turn the momentum from left to right for Delaware once again. We are two-thirds of the way through this first period. Scoreless. If you're just joining us, James Witherite flying solo this afternoon. Bob Thomas, hopefully, will be able to join us again in the coming weeks. Sold absorbs a check behind his own goal. Rolls the puck back over the Delaware line, intercepted by Marciniak. Head manned up the near boards to Kevin Shigalmi. Shigalmi not in position to field the drop pass from Heights House at the top of the right circle, and back come the Orange, pouncing on the turnover. Kajola surrounded in the near corner. Pressed high by Marciniak, left it back to Florio, who slammed it close from the left point, but missed the near wall, or the, the near post, I should say, by a good few feet. Florio again. Waits for Cajola to tag up before wristing the puck in and rolling it behind the Delaware goal. Cleared out by Marciniak, backhanded by Shigalmi. Ahead now to Trevor Early, who wore number 23 with Delaware's Division II team in their last season, which was 2019-20. But now the Connecticut native with the call-up wearing number eight. Ostrander working below the cage. To Lynch at the point. Working the far side, Ostrander. Now again behind the net, Rodriguez tried to feed one on the doorstep, but gave it right into the hands of Max Gargarevich, wearing the number six that Ford Hatchett used to wear for the Syracuse Orange. Now a news presenter in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and an absolute force on the blue line for the Orange for the years he was there. Inside the final five minutes of the first frame of a hard-fought scoreless game, Syracuse only able to muster one shot, but they had plenty of zone time early in the first period. Delaware has peppered Nicholas Minusos with eight so far. But the Syracuse netminder has stood tall and blocked all of them down. And you know what? He's got a pretty good glove hand, too. Tie up for the puck in the far corner of the Syracuse end, held in by Hulser to Chuma. Long shot, sticked into the netting and out of play by Minusos. And that gives us a chance to catch our collective breaths with four minutes and 24 seconds to go in the first period. Nine shots, nine saves by Manusos. He's dialed in so far. The 
couple of the Division II players have entered the press box, enjoying lunch from the sub shop down the street. They didn't bring any for the crew. Oh well, we'll, for we'll forgive them this time. Schuma. Tried to break out up the middle, stick check. Hutchinson. Jumped over a Delaware player. The Syracuse fans want a trip. With Tim Foreman and Owen Doan, they're not going to get it. Because it wasn't there. At least not from these eyes. Schuma. Shot from long range. Blocked by the skates of Hutchinson, who popped back up on his feet. Forcing Chuma back into neutral territory, and he's going to have to stick handle his way. Oh! He brought the puck back into the neutral zone after Nima had entered. And as he veered back in, the eagle eye, Doug Wood, who worked in the East Coast Hockey League and the United Hockey League for a number of years, catches the offside. And now Will Zimmer, a little bit eager to cut for the net, nullifies the Marciniak entrance. Three and a half minutes to go in this opening period. No score between Delaware and Syracuse. Breakout foiled by Emmerich, but punched forward up the near side by Kalinowski. Given away over center to Drummond. Floated in off the end boards. Cleared back out by Skolnick for an icing. Three oh three to go in this opening period. It's not for a lack of chances on the Delaware side, and the passing is better today than it was most notably in the second period yesterday. But the difference maker has been Nicholas Manusos, who's really quite been dialed in. Pulser won the draw with some aid from Rodriguez, setting up a long Marciniak shot, saved by Manusos. The follow-up from Rodriguez denied two on the welcome mat. Trying to walk it in was Hulser, jammed close by Rodriguez. But the left-handed glove of Nicholas Manusos foils the Delaware freshman yet again. 2.49 to go here in the first period of play. Then the face-off comes to the near dot. Won yet again by Gavin Hulser over Anthony Solt for the Orange. A cannon from Marciniak! Trapped under the left leg of Manusos for a stoppage. Face off move to the opposite side. Pulser overpowered this time, but Rodriguez offering support trails back to the left point. And keeps it in, attacking territory from the Blue Hens' perspective. Penalty will go against Syracuse. The guilty party, Mackenzie Murphy. Looked to be a trip from here. And for the second time this afternoon, the Blue Hens go to the Colonial Motors power play. Oh! 
Syracuse penalty. Assessed to number seven, Mackenzie Murphy. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 17 minutes, 37 seconds in the first period. Murphy, two for tripping at 17, 37. Zimmer up high, Guido working with Burns net front, Nima. And the other Zimmer complete the quintet on this power play. Hens scored three power play goals yesterday. Will Zimmer off the head man into the congested slot couldn't connect there. Today, Delaware 0 for 1 with the man advantage. Another close range shot. Not quite on the proper angle. Guido holding the point. Flips the puck to Jack Zimmer near side. Back to Guido through traffic and wide of the near post. That loose puck chased down by Ricker and wristed back to center in a little bit more. Down to the final 70 seconds of this first period. Delaware with the man advantage for another 40 or so. But they remain scoreless. One minute remaining in the period. In minute restant dans la period. Set up to Emmerich from Ostrander. Denied by Manusos, but the rebound is in. And it was Gavin Holser again. who puts it home for Delaware. The Blue Hens score on the Colonial Motors power play. It is 1-0. That amid a net front scrum. And for Gavin, his seventh goal of the season. We'll get you the particulars here shortly. Season. Scored by number 37, Gavin Hulser. Assisted by number 22, Ryan Rodriguez. And number four, Colin Emmerich. Time of the power play goal. 19 minutes, 10 seconds in the first period. Hulser's seventh from Rodriguez and Emmerich at 19-10. Through one period, the score. Your Delaware Blue Hens one. Syracuse Orange zero. We will take a break here on Delaware Hockey Night. 20 minutes in the books. And it took all the way until the last minute for the Blue Hens. To break the scoreless deadlock, Gavin Hulser with his third goal of the weekend. Putting the Hens up. one nothing Over Syracuse through one.
Over the past 25 years, Colonial Motors has connected countless Delawareans with pre-owned cars to satisfy every purpose and budget. Find your next vehicle at one of three convenient locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com.
Think about it. The trash and recycling bins on our homes, even with normal use, are places where harmful bacteria like salmonella and E. coli can multiply by the thousands. But like anyone, you want to keep your home and your family as healthy as possible. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning can help. They sanitize your trash cans with high-pressure hot water jets that can kill over 99% of the germs and bacteria in your cans in just a few minutes. To schedule your first cleaning, call 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. The future of Delaware hockey is here. First State Ice Hockey is committed to growing the game, raising the bar, and building better, more complete youth hockey players in and around Delaware. Join the movement of one state, one goal at FirstStateIceHockey.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.
Hi everybody and welcome back into Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by 412 Communications. James Witherite flying solo here on this Sunday afternoon. We're through one period. The Delaware Blue Hens have taken a 1-0 lead. Third goal of the weekend, seventh of the season for Gavin Hulser. Who would have guessed? On the power play. Putting the Hens up in the last minute of that first period. Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by 412 Communications, the new gold standard in digital media solutions for small businesses. First state ice hockey, one state, one goal. Colonial Motors. Limestone Pension Associates. And Delaware Trash Can Cleaning. This second period brought to you by the Hooper family. Grateful for their generosity and their support of Delaware Hockey Night. And off we go with the second period. Six seconds in, play stopped. Play went offside right at the Syracuse blue line. Hens trying to muster some quick momentum. To start this second period, they'll get a chance to. Nineteen seconds in after the Orange were guilty of an icing. Face off to Manusos is left. Batted to the corner by Nima, but backhanded around to the near side by Florio. On that top defensive pair with Syracuse along with Murphy. Shoveled forward by Kajola as far as the Delaware blue line. Now controlled by Jack Zimmer, finding time and space. He sets up Ryan Luppy. On the cross ice breakout pass, Luppy muscles his way back into the Syracuse end. The cross off the far corner to Nima. Back around now to Jack Zimmer. Tried to tee one up from the left point, but that shot blocked by Max Gargarevich. Holding high in the zone for the Orange, and here he comes up the middle. He takes aim from long range. That's just the second shot of the game for Syracuse. But Nevinger makes the easy save, squaring right up to that shot and hanging on. With a minute and two seconds elapsed here in period number two. We'll get the Hooper family their promised screen time. The second period brought to you by them. Hens clear, but they're guilty of an icing just the same. 69 seconds into the period. Prestamo and Hulser. Take the draw right in front of the press box, where the press box used to be. Jefferson loose, tries to clear the zone, offering aid to Hulser, but Prestamo keeps on ticking. Absorbs a hip check into the corner boards. Hulser knocked down, as joining the fray too is Hutchinson coming away with the puck, leaving it to the right point. Wristed in by Skolnick about belt high, but he was far wide. 
of the left post ends up sailing the puck into the corner. It's punched free by Ostrander up the far wall. Race on for it into the Syracuse zone. Hulser. Even Steven with the Syracuse back checker. That was Skolnick. Hulser trying to set up Rodriguez on the doorstep, but the close range tap in. Held on to by Manusos. Face off at the far dot. Will Zimmer in to take it, flanked by Emmerich and Burns. Will Zimmer won the draw, left the puck back to Marciniak at the right point. He's on with John Drummond at the blue, the blue line. Meanwhile, a two-on-two -two battle develops in the low corner board's far side. Batted back out to another scrum between Kalinowski and Emmerich. Shoveled back in deep. Burns pitchforks the puck free. Will Zimmer sets up Emmerich in the slot. Shot from 25 feet. Tipped before the top of the crease to the near side. Not cleared. Emmerich. There he is at the left point now. He's everywhere, the grad student from Wilmington. Trying to rush a shot. Burns surrounded by Orange from all three sides. Couldn't find the near post. Backhand clearing attempt from Kuzamin comes up short. It's muscled forward by Larkin. Intercepted by Zhigalmi and turned back into the Syracuse end. Heitzhaus recovers at his own blue line across to Marciniak. Now batted forward up the middle by Heitzhaus. He overskates the puck just upon gaining the Syracuse blue line. And it was turned back the other way by Kuzami. Tim Foreman signals an elbow. And we'll see what shakes out here. It goes against John Drummond. Three minutes and five seconds. Into period number two. And for the Delaware Blue Hens, it is the first Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill of the afternoon. Schedule your first cleaning by calling 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. Delaware penalty assessed to number two, John Drummond. Two minutes for elbowing. Time of the penalty, three minutes, five seconds in the second period. Drummond, 2-4 elbowing at 3.05. Kalinowski leaves the puck to Murphy at the near point. Kalinowski back now down low to Larkin. The other two on this power play. Prestama with the puck at the near dot but surrounded. Hens drop four guys down low. Opposite side was Vasilovsky. Prestamo, marked by Chuma, backhands the puck to the far corner. Recovered by Vasilovsky to Murphy. Working the top of the zone and now crossing to the corner. Thrown in. It was tipped just wide of the near post. Kalinowski maintains. Pinched wide by Heitzhaus. Killing this penalty along with Jack Zimmer. Chuma, and up high early. Puck out of play off the Syracuse shot. Four and a half minutes into the second period. Delaware up 1-0. And 37 seconds left on the man advantage thanks to the Drummond elbowing minor. Face off to Nevinger's left side and he's had a mighty easy day at the office so far. He has only faced two shots on goal. How about that? In terms of territory and puck possession, Delaware dominated that first period, but Nicholas Manusos with 14 saves on 15 shots. And we will say this much, the, the puck movement has gotten a lot better from the Delaware perspective compared to yesterday. Can they keep it going? Talking to Todd Middlemeyer. Off air before the game. The Hens' biggest trouble is not playing a full 60-minute game. 
once they can do that, they'll certainly be a force to reckon with. It's just a matter of, of finding the missing pieces. Loose through traffic. Turned aside. And this puck is cleared over the glass from out of the Syracuse end. Faceoff comes to Manusos' left. And the Orange control it. Failed clearing attempt from Cook, foiled by Sidoriak. Luppy gives it away, trying to work the puck in deeper. Ricker, now to Alvers, and it's pushed out beyond the reach of Nima by Hutchinson. Advanced by Gargarevich into the near corner where Luce swarms in on him, so does Nima. A backhand from the near point of Austin Ricker. Keeps the puck in the Delaware end, gloved down by Ricker, colliding with Nima, reaching for a loose puck. Guido tries to clear the zone camp. Gargarevich came to the aid of Austin Ricker and maintains position for Syracuse. Shot in from the point by Alvers, but blocked down in traffic and now walked beyond center the other way by Nima. Off the glass, this puck caroms and rolls off its rib behind the Syracuse goal out to the far side where Murphy cleared. Pens re-enter, Ostrander's backhand up the near side. Volleys the puck right back to Mackenzie Murphy once again. Lynch. Holds the left point this time. He's on with Marciniak up high. Thrown into a congested slot. Rodriguez couldn't track the puck down for the redirect. Ostrander crossing to the far side. Generates space. Takes aim from 30 feet. Stick down by Manusos. And play is whistled to a halt. With 13 and a few ticks to go. Here in period number two. Hens with a 1-0 lead. Fresh legs on for both sides. And for the Orange, Mackenzie Murphy will head off. So Delaware is back on the Colonial Motors power play. Hulser, Ostrander, Rodriguez. Sidoriak and Emmerich. Are the five on this man advantage so far? Delaware one for two on the power play today after, of course, scoring three of their four goals with the man advantage last night. Syracuse penalty assessed to number seven, Mackenzie Murphy. Two minutes for holding. Time of the penalty, six minutes, 56 seconds. In the second period. Murphy, two for holding at 6.56. A Hulser shot was turned aside by Manusos. Here he is again at the top of the left circle. Hulser working high in the zone. Feeds it now to Emmerich. Flip to the corner, chased down by Hulser. He was met there by Skolnick. Sidoriak keeps the motion around the perimeter going. Thrown in close. Hulser can't jam at home under Manusos' leg. And the Syracuse netminder sprawls out to cover the puck with 12.10 to go in the second period. 66 seconds left in the penalty to Murphy. And the Blue Hens chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. But despite recording 20 shots on goal, they haven't been able to pad their one nothing lead. Face off to the left of Manusos. Zone maintained by Guido. He's on with the Zimmers. Nima. And Burns. How about Don Guido? Yes, sir! Wow! A laser from the top of the left circle. 
or was it Will Zimmer? It was Will Zimmer, 28 on the goal. And just like that, it is 2-0 Delaware Blue Hens. Striking again on the Colonial Motors power play. A Delaware goal! His second of the season, scored by number 28, Will Zimmer. Assisted by number seven, Jack Zimmer. And number 10, Ryan Burns. Time of the power play goal, eight minutes, three seconds in the second period. Will Zimmer, his second of the season, from Jack Zimmer and Burns at 8.03, a power play goal. Orange looking to get one back. Larkin centering pass high to Morrow who came crashing in. That shot blocked by Zhigalmi. Here's Hulser in a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Deeks his way past Ricker into a shot lane. Couldn't fire off the shot from point blank range as Larkin hustled back. In the words of Elton John, Saturday night's all right for fighting. Rodriguez making dinner plans with Ricker after play disintegrated. And we'll see if Messrs. Foreman and Doan decide to meet anything out as a result. Rodriguez is going to feel two minutes of shame. We'll get the particulars here momentarily from the off-ice officials. Nothing his fault, particularly. Bench minor for too many players on the ice, sending Delaware back to the Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill. Delaware penalty. A bench minor for too many players on the ice. Time of the penalty, 9 minutes, 26 seconds in the second period. Too many players on the ice against Delaware at 9.26. And they'll go down a second man as Ivan Sidoriak gets rung up for a trip at 10.02. So five on three for Syracuse for the next minute, 23 seconds. The three for Delaware. Emmerich and the Zimmers. Delaware penalty assessed to number 20, Ivan Sidoria. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 10 minutes, two seconds in the second period. Sidoria, two for tripping at 10.02. Hard shot from the top of the left circle from Syracuse's Evan Vasilovsky, saved by Nevinger. Murphy, working the point, steps up, flips the puck to Kalinowski. Back to Murphy, looked slapper, kept high by Zimmer. One-timer from the left dot and Vasilovsky. Turned aside by Nevinger, puck corralled by Emmerich, and rifled clear. 32 seconds left, and the two-man advantage for Syracuse, then they'll have another 35 seconds after that, give or take. With the five on four for the Sidoriak penalty. The time you see on your screen is the two-man advantage time, and then that will be replaced by the remaining time on the five on four. 
after Rodriguez is released. Alvers. In low to Hutchinson. Larkin manning the slot. Net front. That's Cook trying to jam the puck home, but Nevinger sprawls on it. And freezes for a stoppage in play. 31 seconds to go on the Syracuse power play. On the Sidoriak tripping minor. And those of you here on Delaware Hockey Night getting a front row seat to the sounds of the game from those in the back row seats. You hear the claps and the toe taps and the metal bleachers rattling about through our ambient mic bringing you the sounds of the game. Shot from Hutchinson denied by Nevinger. Likewise, you hear Nicholas Menuso slap the ice, signaling the end of that Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill for the Blue Hens. They staved off the long five on three. And they coast into the final eight minutes of the second period with a two nothing lead over Syracuse. Cook working the far corner, absorbs a check, turns the puck back behind the cage, left by Ricker onto Alvers. Wristed by Ricker, up high, gloved down by Cook, walked through up the middle. Looked like Alvers may have jumped the gun a little bit on the zone entry. But Doug Wood says it's good, and the shot from long range is saved by Justin Nevinger, giving us a break in the action with 7 minutes 21 seconds to go in the second period. Delaware pinned back in their zone for the following draw, but they've got the comfort of a 2-0 lead and the way they're playing so far today. Forgive me if I speak too soon, but it doesn't look like that lead's in all that much peril. Syracuse has turned it on a good bit here, though, in the second period, recording seven shots compared to their one in the first. Granted, a number of those came in the two-man advantage just before. But Syracuse with a little bit of new life in the second period. Also making things fairly tough on Delaware all weekend long, at least as far as five-on-five five play is concerned. It was an even game, five-on-five, five, all things considered, yesterday, and that's the case today. As both of these Delaware goals this afternoon as well have been scored with the man advantage. Murphy clears. Marciniak recovers. Murphy again fed the puck by Skolnick behind his own blue line. Leads to a shot from Salt at the top of the left circle. Caught by Nevinger. And that brings us to a stoppage with 6.14 to go in the second period. This face-off comes to the right of Nevinger. Swatted on by Shigalmi up the right wall. Into the Syracuse end, and it looks like Delaware is going to go for an elbow. So says Owen Doan. This was 5.53 to go in the second period. Another Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill coming up for the Hens. They just kept the Orange scoreless on a lengthy five on three. And here Ryan Burns, working just inside his own blue line, fires the puck clear to start this penalty kill on the right note for the Hens. 
Delaware penalty. Assessed to number 19, Chris Heitzhouse. Two minutes for elbowing. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, seven seconds in the second period. Heitzhouse, two for elbowing at 14.07. Murphy at his own blue line. Here's Prestamo advancing up the middle. Shot from 25 feet, stick checked. Up into the air by Jefferson Luce. Recovered by Prestamo near corner. Flipped to Larkin. Shoveled by Will Zimmer. Back to Sidoriak. Burns and Luce complete the quartet of penalty killers for Delaware. Delayed offside against Syracuse as Kalinowski couldn't break his momentum to hold up in the neutral zone with two men of four. Gives the Hens a free pass and they loft the puck clear. Fresh legs on all around. And Murphy posts up behind his own net to try to set up a more deliberate attack with 36 seconds left on the man advantage. Murphy pursued by Luppy. Backhands the puck free into the neutral zone. Tipped on beyond red by Hutchinson, but given away. Volleyed back into the hands of Murphy just inside the Syracuse line. Cross ice. Advance. To Hutchinson was picked off. Luppy with a shot. Between the wickets, but into the stick of Manusos. That the 22nd Delaware shot on goal of the game. Final seconds of the Heights House penalty have ticked away. And the Orange are called offside. We'll let you listen in to the sounds of the game a little bit here with 3.52 to go in the second period. And Delaware with a 2-0 lead. Seems as though Syracuse has taken their time out. Here with 2.15. 
to go in the second period. We'll use this opportunity to recognize our great group of sponsors. 412 Communications, the new gold standard and digital media solutions for small businesses. First State Ice Hockey. One state, one goal. Colonial Motors Incorporated. Connecting Delawareans with pre-owned cars, perfect for every purpose and budget for the last 25 years. Limestone Pension Associates. And Delaware Trash Can Cleaning. You too can become a sponsor. Opportunities available. Drop us a note, James, at 412communications.com to learn more about sponsorship opportunities for Delaware Hockey Night. Play resumes after the Syracuse timeout. 2 10 to go here in period number two. Pens with a 2 0 lead over the Orange in the shot department. They've just dominated 24 9. There's the 10th Syracuse shot of the game. It came from Skolnick into the pads of Nevinger. Sidoriak from the right half wall. Got the puck right back after he th threw it into the slot. Tried to wrap around behind the cage. Couldn't. Guido setting up Luppy on the doorstep. Couldn't connect from point blank range either. Vasilovsky corrals the loose puck. Walks it back to center. Now it's rifled in by Luce. He rolls it around behind. The Syracuse goal comes out to the far half wall. Recovered by Skolnick. Advanced now by Vasilovsky. Up the right side, he's kept outside the dots by Luce. Drop pass to Prestamo results in an errant shot that was intercepted at the top of the crease by the Delaware defensive core. Murphy absorbing a check, dumps the puck into the Delaware end once again. One minute remaining in the period. Un minute resta dans la period. Alvers surrounded by blue hens at the near half wall. Tries to roll the puck to the far side below the cage where time and space availed, but in doing so gave it away. Fortunately for the Orange, looking to cut into this 2-0 deficit. Delaware cleared the puck over the glass and out of play. <laughs> Giving them an attacking zone drawn in to take it, Anthony Larkin. Across from the other 28, Will Zimmer. Larkin on with Alvers and Kalinowski. Here comes Burns through traffic. Backhand shot. He shoots and scores. Mr. Burns puts the hands up 3-0. Splitting defenders. A deke at the top of the crease. Puts it on his forehand. And slams it home from there. That's two on the season for Ryan Burns. Nifty little net front deke off the feed from Jack Zimmer. And it's 3-0. A Delaware goal! His second of the season, scored by number 10, Ryan Burns. Assisted by number 7, Jack Zimmer. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 28 seconds in the second period. Burns is second from Jack Zimmer at 19.28. And with just a couple ticks left. In the second period, the Delaware Blue Hens will go a man up.
Pulser batted the puck into the corner off the draw, handled there by Florio, who hangs on until the final seconds tip away. The score through two periods. Your Delaware Blue Hens, three. Syracuse Orange, zero. We'll take a break here on Delaware Hockey Night, brought to you by 412 Communications through 40 minutes. Hens with a 3 0 lead, as you see. Goals from Will Zimmer and Burns, extending the Delaware advantage. Over the past 25 years, Colonial Motors has connected countless Delawareans with pre-owned cars to satisfy every purpose and budget. Find your next vehicle at one of three convenient locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com.
Think about it. 
the trash and recycling bins on our homes, even with normal use, are places where harmful bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli can multiply by the thousands. But like anyone, you want to keep your home and your family as healthy as possible. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning can help. They sanitize your trash cans with high-pressure hot water jets that can kill over 99% of the germs and bacteria in your cans in just a few minutes. To schedule your first cleaning, call 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. The future of Delaware hockey is here. First State Ice Hockey is committed to growing the game, raising the bar, and building better, more complete youth hockey players in and around Delaware. Join the movement of one state, one goal at FirstStateIceHockey.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning. And Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.
Hi friends, welcome back to Delaware Hockey Night. Syracuse and Delaware through two periods. The score, Blue Hens 3, Orange 0. We're live from Fred Rust Arena. The campus of the University of Delaware. James Witherite flying solo here this afternoon. We're through two periods. The Hens have edged away to a 3-0 lead over the Syracuse Orange. Second period goals coming from Will Zimmer and Ryan Burns, just about set for the third. And off we go, and the Hens will have another minute and 55 seconds on the Colonial Motors power play to start this third period. That penalty against Vincent Barone late in the second period for Syracuse was a tripping minor. If you're just joining us, Delaware traveling left to right in their blue kits here this afternoon. Syracuse moving right to left in the third period. Clad in white with that famous orange block S. And navy blue trim all around. Zone cleared by Florio up the near side. Sidoriak inside his own blue line recovers, flips the puck across off the far boards at Ricochets. Corralled by fellow Delawarean Colin Emmerich, who's angled below the goal on his way in by Murphy. Emmerich tied up by Murphy as they came out the near side. Quite the scrum developing at the corner, with half of the complement of skaters involved. Sidoriak fed the puck by Hulser, leaves it to Emmerich now at the right dot. Without a stick, Murphy keeps him high. Hard shot from Sidoriak from center point off the blocker of Minusos and into the glass. Rodriguez tries to handle the rebound, couldn't run the gauntlet behind the cage. Back out it comes to Sidoriak. Ostrander, now to Emmerich. Working the goal line extended near his side. Put one on a tee net front for Ostrander, but he was surrounded, couldn't get a quality shot off. There is a hard chance from the opposite side. But right into the glove of Manusos. Face-off at the far dot. One by Will Zimmer, second wave on. Nima to Jack Zimmer. Sets up the slap shot from downtown, but right into the breadbasket of Manusos, who holds. Another attacking zone draw, one at the far dot by Will Zimmer. This is Jack Zimmer with time and space. Works it in close behind the skates of Ryan Burns and Will on the doorstep couldn't finish either. Puck cleared with 16 seconds to go. On the penalty to Barone. Hens attack led by Guido. Circles behind the cage to Jack Zimmer. Thrown in from center point, sticked away by Manusos behind the cage. Comes out to the left side. Head man to Burns from Will Zimmer. Right into Manusos' pads and he sprawls to cover up the rebound opportunities here. Just two minutes and a few ticks into the third period. And Delaware with a comfortable 3 0 lead. No success on that power play but sustained attacking momentum and a fresh complement of players on for the following faceoff. Early at his feet taken out from under him in the battle for the puck in the near corner. It is knocked loose and walked by Sam Hutchinson up to red. He tries to accelerate past Marciniak. They converge in the near corner. Looked like Marciniak was able to get stick on puck and Hutchinson lost his footing of his bone volition. Still, Kuzamin was able to set up a shot at the top of the near circle into the glove of Nevinger, recording his 11th save of the day. Face-off comes 
to Nevinger's right. One by Delaware, race on for a loose puck. Heitzhaus backhands it towards Shigalmi, crashing the net. Early, holds, loses the puck. Drummond maintains the zone. Put one on a tee for Early, who made a beeline to the Syracuse goal. But he fanned on it at the edge of the crease. Chance from Shigalmi. Into Manusos' glove hand. And play stops three minutes into the third. The shots just keep raining down. We are three minutes into this third period, and Delaware has already recorded seven shots on goal. Granted, all of them saved by Manusos. But one or more of these are bound to fall sooner than later as the Hulser line comes on for the Blue Hens. Ryan Roy Rogers Rodriguez surrounded from all sides by Orange forced back into the neutral zone. Hulser re-enters, reaching for the puck. Ricker knocks it out of his control and play migrates to the near boards as such. Centering feed, nobody home. Walked on out by Skolnick and on through neutral territory comes Anthony Larkin. He barrels in toward the Delaware net. Nevinger lost his footing pretty badly. He struggles to get up after losing his paddle. Trying to cover as much net as possible. <laughs> the acrobatics short-lived as Nevinger is able to regain the tools of ignorance after play migrates back from our left to our right. Hard work pays off for Delaware. A mid-net front traffic. Ryan Luppy. Jams the puck home. Ryan Doobie Doobie Doo Luppy makes it 4 0. The Hens just keep pouring it on. The junior Ryan Luppy jams the puck past Manusos for his third of the season. Amid quite the net front crowd. A Delaware goal! His third of the season, scored by number 17, Ryan Luppy. Assisted by number 20, Ivan Sidoriak. And number 24, Jay Luce. Time of the goal, four minutes, four seconds in the third period. Luppy's third from Sidoriak and Luce at 4.04. Burns waits for Guido to tag up before carrying the puck back into Syracuse territory up the near wall but he was pinned wide the whole way. Drop pass to Will Zimmer crashing in from the left point. Failed to materialize, Burns able to maintain. To Marciniak stepping up, fired one in from the top of the right circle, missed the far post. Holding the opposite point was Lynch. Marcy through traffic again. Double teamed high in the slot, lost control of the puck. Hens with the help of Ryan Burns able to maintain their momentum. Emmerich. Dishes it behind his back to Will Zimmer, on to Burns again, it goes. Held in by Lynch off a failed Syracuse clearing attempt. Will Zimmer turning at the top of the left circle. His shot was rushed, that of Marciniak. Forced to be played on by Nicholas Manusos. But it was from an awkward angle and easily handled by the Syracuse netminder, who has stopped 31 of 34 shots so far this afternoon. Manpower is going to drop here six minutes and a second. Into the third period as we've got to get our clock calibrated. Mm -hmm. 
Owen Doan signals a slash. Delaware heading back to the Colonial Motors power play. After some significant damage already. No, they're not, as Chandler Lynch comes off as well. So we are going to be four on four for the next two minutes. As Lynch gets rung up for a slash as well. Syracuse penalty assessed to number 26, Sam Hutchinson. Two minutes for slashing. Delaware penalty assessed to number 13, Chandler Lynch. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the coincidental penalties. Six minutes, one second in the third period. Hutchinson, two for slashing. Lynch, two for slashing. Both at 6.01. So we are four on four for the next minute and 20 seconds. And out comes Murphy for the orange. Murphy along with Kalinowski leading this charge, but the Hens back check more than catches up with them. Murphy plastered to the corner wall. By loose, gave the puck away, in came Hulser. Absorbed an open ice collision with Prestamo. Was separated from the puck, so textbook definition of a body check. Delivered there by one of Syracuse's on and off ice leaders in Lucas Prestamo. Just an all round good kid. Who finds himself in a leadership role after the gap year last season and before that playing with a number of stalwarts in the Orange program like Ford Hatchett, Chris Brunner Grande, and a few others who were key components to the Syracuse club for a few seasons before, of course, everything halted last year. So now Prestamo in the leadership role, and we were talking before the game as well. And the Syracuse team, young, still growing quite a bit. But even in defeat, there are good takeaways to be had. Early in Skolnick got tied up away from the puck. It migrates to the far corner. Heights House hassled by Kajola. Walks in, tries to jam the puck into the far corner. Manuso stacks the pads for the stoppage. And here we go. The extracurriculars carry well after the whistle with 11 and a half minutes to go. Heights House and Morrow have to be separated. By the Nova Scotian Brent Kendall. And Heights House is gonna head off for a slash. This eight and a half minutes into the second period, or the third period rather. So the Blue Hens will be pinned in their zone for the start of a Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill. So far though, they've killed off three. With nary an iota of damage inflicted upon them. Delaware penalty assessed to number 19, Chris Heitzhouse. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, eight minutes, 30 seconds in the third period. Heitzhouse, two for slashing at 8.30. Puck cleared by the hands. Salutations to Amy and Deacon taking in the game here this afternoon. From the confines of the press box. There are cheering sections for both teams at every arena you go to. Rarely is there a cheering section for the third team. Amy and Deacon comprise it this afternoon. Here in support of referee Tim Foreman.
Murphy up the left wall. Turns a circle in the corner to evade pressure from Chuma. Does. Flips the puck to Larkin. Back to Murphy holding the left point. Vasilovsky centering pass. The stick of Cook was lifted on the doorstep. And the Hens are able to clear as we come to the halfway point of the third period. Delaware with a 4-0 lead over Syracuse. Nevinger recording his 12th save of the game. Amid this power play exchange. Has faced an equal number of shots. In comes the next Syracuse rush. The, Hudson, the Hutchinson shot from the top of the left circle was stick checked off its line to the far corner. Maintained by Alvers for Syracuse. Alvers sets up Ricker at the top of the right circle from below the net. And the follow-up shot from Cook clangs into the wall behind the Delaware goal. And that gives us a pause in play with 9.24 to go in regulation. Saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning, and the experts on that, Limestone Pension Associates, for 35 years, they've been crafting and administering qualified pension plans for businesses in and around Delaware, and of course, their workforces. Limestonepension.net is where to go to learn more. Hens clear their zone after successfully killing off the penalty. Back in comes Evan Vasilovsky. Turns a circle at the left point to try to generate space. Cross ice feed to Skolnick. Was thrown in close. Batted out of harm's way by Marciniak. Held still by Skolnick. Thrown in from long range. Stick to the near corner by Nevinger. Drummond recovers. Chips the puck out of the Delaware zone. Icing waved off, puck fanned on in neutral territory by a Syracuse player. And the Hens were able to chase the puck down successfully. The Ostrander shot from the near half boards. Sticked aside by Manusos, recording his 33rd save of the day. Swatted in by Marciniak from high in the zone. Net front feed to Hulser couldn't finish on the doorstep off the setup from Drummond. Kalinowski chips the puck off the near glass and out. This will come back in icing. 8.08 to go here in this third period. Delaware with a 4 0 lead and a comfortable one at that over Syracuse after maintaining a tenuous advantage throughout all day yesterday. This is the second of four meetings between these two teams this season. The Hens will head to the Tennedy Ice Pavilion in central New York for a late season set. I believe to be in the middle of February if memory serves me right. Full schedule available at udellhockey.com. Of course, next weekend we'll be with the Hens Division II men's and Division II women's teams. The Division II Hens on the men's side take on Drexel Friday night at 6.15. And we'll have the women's game on Saturday morning at Navy for you as well. That'll be on DHN Radio with our good friend Mark McClure, from whom we'll hear more as the season progresses. Four nothing the score. Seven twenty-two the remaining time. Delaware with the advantage on the scoreboard, but in terms of territory, it's Syracuse with the attacking zone draw. And coming in to take it is Kajola. Delaware recovers. Chuma works the puck free. Now it's carried on out of the zone by Shigalmi. Pressed to the corner. Recovered deep in the orange end. And walked to center by Gargarevich. 
Given away over the Delaware blue line to Shigalmi. Shoveled in by Heitzhaus from the opposite side. Inside seven minutes to go. 4 nothing. the Delaware lead. The entry is onside, albeit awfully sloppy. Shigalmi just inside the Syracuse stripe. Bats the puck into the near corner with five orange players inside the dots. And that back check effective enough to slow up the Delaware progress and flip the puck out of their zone, but Will Zimmer muscles his way back in. Shot from close range. Glanced off the pads of Manusos. Zimmer tries to chase down his own rebound, but he's double teamed at the near boards. Pressed high by Kuzamin. The battle for the puck continues, pinching through an arrow opening at the wall. That was Emrick. Who, driven behind the cage, failed to set up Chandler Lynch coming in at the half wall. Here's Marciniak backhander, stick checked up in the atmosphere by the other five, John Cajola. Puck skitters beyond the reach of Emrick into the hands of Timofey Kuzamin. He's checked off the biscuit, gets it back, tries to roll it out of the zone, but Marciniak maintains the point. Thrown in close, Emrick fails to get the redirect, just placed right. Skies the puck instead off his forehand. But the Hens will get another chance after Lynch maintains the zone. Headman's to Burns, but his shot from 25 feet right into the breadbasket once again. Of Nicholas Manusos, who records his 35th save of the afternoon. Play quickly resumes with an attacking zone draw. And Prestamo back at the Syracuse blue line. Look to get the momentum going from right to left again, but the Hens back checking just enough into the neutral zone to disrupt his progress. This time around, Sidoriak circles behind his own goal after a successful Syracuse clear. Two on one for the Hens. Bodied off the puck was Rodriguez. Driven into the far corner, lost his footing. Hulser tried to offer aid, couldn't. Rodriguez pops back up, absorbs a hit from Ricker below the goal. Recovers the puck at the near corner as his momentum takes him there. Tried to feed to Ostrander, but that pass was intercepted by the other 26, Sam Hutchinson of Syracuse, who's just been everywhere for that team this weekend. Hutchinson gains red, tried to fire the puck in along the near boards, but caught Brent Kendall in the left skate. Brent wincing in agony, trying to shake it off. Brent, you've only got four minutes left, good buddy. Chuma from the top of the right circle into the glove hand of Manusos will not count as a shot on goal as that puck was headed wide of the post. 3.52 to go here in regulation. And the Hens look to prolong their attack and pad a 4-0 lead for a little bit more insurance. That said, Colby Rattel leads the rush from right to left for Syracuse. He's double teamed at the near edge of the near circle. Puck stolen from him ultimately by Chuma. Played behind the net, around to the far corner. Held in there by Kuzamin at the point for Syracuse. Dumped back in, given away to Jack Zimmer. Chipped beyond the four-checking Brock Alvers. Walked in, shot was off the glass behind Manusos. And we've got a stoppage in play with exactly 200 seconds to go. Here in the third period of a 4 0 Sunday afternoon contest advantage, Delaware. Looked as though we had a puck out of play off a Syracuse player. 
So it stays in the Syracuse zone. It will come right back after Skolnick ices the puck. Three, 11 to go in regulation. As the legendary Mike Lang would say, Elvis has long since left the building. Early to Heights House. Looking for one for the thumb. The give and go fails to materialize. Shigalmi with a shot from 20 feet. Missed the near post. Marciniak holds the point. Ricochets it off the near boards, but gives the puck away to Ricker, who turns and tries to wrist it free. Can't as Marciniak maintains the zone. Shigalmi again. Works below the net. Backdoor feed. Tried to connect with Will Zimmer. Heitzhaus keeping his cool net front after being cross-checked in the chest a time or three or four by Ricker. Delayed penalty signaled by Tim Foreman, and Owen Doan's got it too. The Delaware net empty, and the goal is good. There's one for the thumb for Delaware. Now 5-0. Thanks to the Chicagoan, Andrew Marciniak. Seventeen forty two. The time of the goal. And Austin Ricker is going to sit for that gratuitous cross check. That does get served, according to the ACHA rulebook. So not only does Delaware get their fifth goal of the game, but they are headed back to the Colonial Motors power play as well. It's going to be a high stick. Not a cross check as we saw initially, but in any case, a gratuitous penalty just the same. A Delaware goal! His first of the season! Scored by number five, Andrew. Marciniak! Assisted by number 28, Will Zimmer. And number 9, Kevin Zigomi. Time of the even strength goal, 1742. In the third period, Marciniak's first from Will Zimmer and Zigomi. At 1742. Syracuse penalty, assessed to number four, Austin Ricker, two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalty, 17.42 in the third period. Ricker, two for high sticking at 17.42. Coincidental penalties here with a minute and a half to go. look to be matching misconducts. We'll get the word here shortly. Another shot saved by Manusos. With a minute 17 to go. Pulser and Gargarevich were the guilty parties. Guido turning shot. It stopped by Manusos, held in by Will Zimmer. One minute remaining in the period. In minute restant dans la période.
Syracuse penalty assessed to number six, Max Gargarevich. Delaware penalty assessed to number 37, Gavin Hulser. Both receiving 10-minute misconducts. Time of the 10-minute misconducts assessed to Hulser for Delaware and Gargarevich for Syracuse, 18:31 in the third period. Final seconds of the Ricker penalty ticking away. 20 seconds left in the game. Delaware with a 5-0 lead, and they're just going to coast home from here. Centering pass evades Will Zimmer. Burns can't maintain. Out for, out for Syracuse comes Larkin. Headman to Alvers. Hard shot caught by Nevinger with six and a half seconds to go. And the congregations continue. And Owen Doan just gave somebody the gate. We heard him say he's gone. The jawing continues. Burns is going to be set off. This was six and a half seconds to go in the event. Officials confer. So as it stands, we've got two minutes on the board for Larkin, five on the board. For Burns, plus the game misconduct. Now the Larkin penalty is being removed. So however it shakes out, Syracuse gets a major power play that is for all intents and purposes a formality since we've only got six and a half seconds to go. False start on the faceoff. Major for cross checking plus the game disqualification against Burns. The final seconds tick away, and the Delaware Blue Hens ice a 5 nothing win over Syracuse. The final score, your Delaware Blue Hens 5, Syracuse Orange 0. And the Hens mob netminder Justin Nevinger, who records a 14-save shutout. That'll do it for us here on Delaware Hockey Night. The final score here this afternoon, Delaware 5, Syracuse 0. For the whole crew, this is James Witherite. Thank you for joining us here on Delaware Hockey Night. We'll do it again on Friday as the Division II Hens take on Drexel. Good night from Delaware Hockey Night.
Over the past 25 years, Colonial Motors has connected countless Delawareans with pre-owned cars to satisfy every purpose and budget. Find your next vehicle at one of three convenient locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com.
Think about it. The trash and recycling bins on our homes, even with normal use, are places where harmful bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli can multiply by the thousands. But like anyone, you want to keep your home and your family as healthy as possible. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning can help. They sanitize your trash cans with high-pressure hot water jets that can kill over 99% of the germs and bacteria in your cans in just a few minutes. To schedule your first cleaning, call 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. The future of Delaware hockey is here. First State Ice Hockey is committed to growing the game, raising the bar, and building better, more complete youth hockey players in and around Delaware. Join the movement of one state, one goal at FirstStateIceHockey.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning. And Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.